Okay. So this morning, all you will need is a mat or something like a towel on the floor. This is sticking back on for our core work. Um, we are going to about 20 minutes this morning um, for our core session, and then at half past 10, we have a full body stretch as well. Please feel free to sort of stay on. If you are going to stay on between the um, core session and the stretch session, there won't be too long in between the two, um, but I would try and keep warm, just to, just to mention that now, just sort of try and keep moving. Don't let yourself be too cold, put a jumper on and just keep it a bit warmer. Good morning, Kay, good morning, Janice. I hope you guys are all well, I hope you're having a lovely weekend. So, this morning our warm up, we're going to do a Tabata 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Uh, just two exercises, we're going to switch between the two. We have just jumping jacks and then just touch, toe touches at the front. So first one will be our jumping jacks and the second one just toe touches. 20 seconds of jump jacks, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of toe touches and then we repeat that just three times through on the repeat on that. Okay, that is our warm up. Okay. Are you ready? Starting session. Ten seconds. Okay, we're going to jump back to that. We're going to get a pulse raise. Three, two, and one. Let's get moving. Wow. Good work. You can stay light on those toes. You're going to get the body moving. Nice. Three, two, one. Ten seconds left. Shake out those arms. Okay, toe touches at the front. Two, one. Again, this time, you can just let those arms be loose. Circle them back. Circle them forward. We're just getting nice and warm. Nice and easy. And rest. Okay, back in those jump jacks. Three, two, one. Pull the leggings up and let's do this. <laughs> Good. Well done. Three, two, one. So it touches again. Nice and simple this morning. Simple and effective. Three, two, one. So it touches. Good. Again, just let the body be loose, free. Stretch your arms up. One. Last time with both of them. Morning. Ready? Jumping jack. Two. One. Nice. And go. Goodbye. Five. Four. Three. One. Last time, toe touches. For our core work so we have four exercises we are going to stay with each exercise and do that one for three rounds so it's still 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off which is our usual format there what we're going to do is we're going to stay rather than rotating it in a circuit format we're going to stay with exercise one repeat it three times 
then move on and move on. So rather than in a circuit form, we move between um, sort of areas of the core quite quickly. So it sort of takes the pressure off from the abs, move to the obliques, move to the back and so on. It's going to be targeted on one area at a time. So that same exercise is going to be repeated. So you might find that you do feel um, more a burn through certain, um, certain areas as we go through the workout. Just keep the, the key form right on it. So if you've got to keep your belly button in and tucked and contracted, make sure that that's there. Don't let it go all loose because that's when you'll start to think about potentially hurting yourself. So you want to keep it nice and safe um, and nice and intense. So you'll need a drink and a map and that is it. So exercise number one that we have today, we've got an altern alternating crunch variation. So you're sitting on your mat, make sure you can see me, there you go. So you're sitting on your mat, your hands come just behind your bum, onto the floor, the elbows are soft. The knees come up and out. You're then going to bring one leg in and take it out. One leg in, take it out. My upper body is coming to meet that knee and going away again. My hands are here just to support it. Okay, if you struggle with that one, then you come down to your elbows and you can bring your knees in together or alternate there as well. Okay, that is exercise one, and I'll show you the rest as we go through the workout. Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, are we ready? One, feet come out, one knee in, out, in, out, good, well done, bring it in, take it away, in, away, nice, good job, Guys, if you are feeling more of a burn today than usual, in that rest time, stretch it out. One of my favourite stretches for my abdominals is the cobra stretch. So on your front, lying down, hands inside your chest, pushing up, and you'll feel it stretch through your abdominals. So if you want to stretch the side, just come back and take it round either way, okay? 
just a quick one there, just to mention. So next one we have a side plank with a hip dip. So you're coming onto your elbow on the side, your feet are on top of each other, you're lifting the hips up, hand comes up. You're then from there just going to drop the hips and pick them back up. Down, up. At 20 seconds, you're going to quickly flip sides and go on the other side. Okay? So it's 20 seconds on each side. Okay? If you struggle with the hip dip, you're just going to hold that side plank. Okay? It's a different type of movement, this one. You'll notice the difference. Okay. Are you ready? Same as I've been doing. Are we ready? Lying back. 
most likely we'll use them. Try and start with the full hollow hold and then move as you need to. You'll feel, you'll feel you need to if your back starts to come away from the floor. If you can't pull it back in, go to the, to the simpler variation. So, your full hollow hold, you're lying on your back, your hands are above, outside your ears, above your head, your feet are off the floor. Your belly button is pulling in and down. You want to avoid any lift here. You want to flatten it out to the floor, okay? So you're aiming to hold like a dish position. If you cannot hold this and you feel like you are getting this arch, you need to bring your knees in. Knees come in, back squeezes flat and your hands come down. So from here, you're coming to here, okay? And you're going to hold it there. Try and pull your shoulders off the floor to push that back in and almost holding like a crunch position. Okay, those are your two options there. Try not to give up on it, just keep pulling through. Again, we're going to run three times on this. We've got 40 seconds on the clock. You're going to keep going as much as you can. And if you need to relax, go straight back in and we're going to get to the 40 all together. We're in it together. Are we ready? In position, five, four, three, two, one. So you're full dish, and you're coming to here if you need to. Well done. Good work. Good 
Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, hold it there. Back into the floor, belly back and pull through. Well done. again five minutes for the stretching live and um, we'll all stretch through everything we've just worked um, okay we've got a full body stretch it is suitable for everybody uh, it doesn't matter on your flexibility level so I'm gonna pop off live here and then come back on uh, just a quick mention if you if you use YouTube if you have access to YouTube if you could go to search Molly Tomlin find moving with Molly on there there's a little subscribe button if you could hit that um, it would really really help me out with um making everything happen for me with uh, doing moving with Molly. It helps me. Just a little button click really, really helps. Um, so just head over to YouTube and search it on there um, and that would be brilliant. Thank you so much guys. Lovely to have you with me as always. If I don't see you in a short while, have a lovely rest of your Sunday and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.